Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're, we're unboxing another guitar kit. So I know we just did one of these and we haven't actually even built the thing yet and we're going to, but of course, if you watch that video and if you haven't, you should, uh, I asked you guys to vote. So we need to figure out exactly what we're gonna do with it. So I asked to vote on a theme and uh, once I figure out the theme, we'll get started on what's gonna be a pretty crazy build. But here we have another guitar kit um, that another company has has sent me to to demo, to review, and everything. And I'm I haven't opened this yet. Like, don't really know what we're getting at. I'm gonna throw a link in the description because they sent me one. We're gonna open this up, see what we're dealing with, and get some first impressions. And then I guess we're gonna have to build this one too. So uh, yeah, that should be good. Anyway, uh, this is a gigantic box for a guitar kit for comparison purposes. Now 30% bigger, actually more than that. Anyway, uh, let's open this guy up, shall we? It appears that this is a Muslati. The website that sells these kits is called TomTop and they've got, well, they've got an insane amount of stuff on there from, you know, you can, you can buy drones there, cameras, guitar kits, guitars, um, luthier supplies. There's, I took a look at the website when they sent it to me and wow, there's a ton of stuff pedals and stuff, you know, quite the array and selection. Wow, that looks pretty damn cool. There's also an insane amount of open space in this box, um, which makes me a little nervous, but let's hope that nothing get damaged. And uh, this doesn't really fit on my, <laughs> okay. I need to cut this lid off. I have to save this for next time I move. This is it. We're good. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, this is exciting, this part. So let's let's start with the body. Wowza. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, that is that is super hollow. There is not there is not much wood on this thing. That's really cool. There's a little post there for the bridge. Quite a few control holes here. So we'll see what all comes with this package. Very, very interesting. Uh, thin, thin piece of what appears to be Baltic birch plywood, I think, here, with a, actually a pretty nice flamed maple veneer on it. Clearly quite thin. I can see um, just a little bit of it rubbing away there. So pretty thin, but but nice. Feels nice and smooth. I, I can't tell if it's sealed or not. I think maybe it's not. So we'll try dyeing this because that's kind of what you do with this. A multiply. I'll show you this uh, in more detail when I do a little bit of B-roll or, or I guess it would be A-roll. But anyway, multiply binding is really nice. Uh, and then a single ply white binding in the sound holes. Yeah, really cool. That I need to be super careful with. That's incredibly thin. Okay, let's look at the back. And again, we have presumably a thin maple veneer here, though not flamed this time, of course. Yep, and if you look real close there, you can tell that it's a, a thin veneer. Um, and then a binding around here, single ply. I'll need to do a little bit of cleanup work on that, but generally pretty nice. This thing weighs nothing. It practically jumps out of your hands. That's really cool. A bit of a dent here. I don't know, this isn't very thick, but I assume that I'm supposed to glue this in. Luckily, I have an assembly reference manual that is in both English and Chinese. So I'm sure I can figure it out. Wait, okay. It, it covers a multitude of different guitar types, so I'll find this one on there. Perfect. Okay, what do we got going on here? <clears throat> what do we got going on here? That is kind of like English. All right, so we've got what appears to be a mahogany neck, nice long scarf joint, bound. Um, will require some fret work, but hey, that's okay. We would be doing some anyway. Yeah, nice long joint. Um, the dot markers are kind of right up against the wood for some reason rather than being centered, but that's not the end of the world. 
fretboard looks relatively nice. Again, I'll give you a better look at that. Interesting headstock shape. I don't mind that at all. The truss rod access, though, well, it isn't very accessible. Um, <laughs> it's it's kind of dug in, and you wouldn't be able to stick anything in there. The long way, you'd have to kind of just hook the end of your Allen key in here. So that's that's interesting. Um, it's also kind of kind of mangled, but that's okay. I think uh, that probably won't be an issue. We'll just put a truss rod cover on there. What worries me is it looks like it's pretty deep. Yeah, pretty deep there. Um, I can almost feel a little bit of flexibility on the back of where that truss rod cover would be. And we've got a small crack here for some reason. So the truss rod, yeah, the truss rod is way in back here right next like there's there's not a lot of wood on the back in this area neck gets thicker a little bit down here so that's probably fine i don't think that's going to be a problem um but that is how this one was built we got a lot of hardware Let's see what we're dealing with here another cable that you'll never use strings Okay, those are interesting dials. Let's let's open this guy up real quick. I'll just make sure I don't lose any of it, hopefully. We've got our knobs here. Pretty standard black. A very small jack. Nothing wrong with that. That should be fine. That's our wiring harness. So that's that's convenient that it's already kind of pre-done like that. Um, this is our this is our switch. It's got a lot of play in it, I'll be honest with you. But, yeah, that's weird. A lot of play sideways. Let's see how it seems to snap reasonably nicely, yeah. So that's this is the kind of thing that you'd, you'd want to consider upgrading, certainly. But um, not terrible. So we can definitely make that work. Let's get this all back in here so I don't lose it. Moving right along. Okay, so we got our truss rod cover. There's the nut. Strap buttons, which will, uh, well, those should suffice actually, but we'll look at replacing those if this thing, thing seems like it's going to warrant it. I guess we'll get this guy opened up too. I'll have to get some zip locks after. Those are our tuning machines. Those are interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Um, if we look at our neck, there's nothing pre-drilled back here. So we'll, we'll think about whether we want to use these or uh, depending on what color scheme we go with, maybe something else. Okay, now onto the big stuff. These we can open because I'm not going to lose a pickup. That would just, just be embarrassing. Oh, we don't have to worry about it being overcomplicated. Those seem pretty standard. We'll definitely test those out, see what we're dealing with. There's no guard or anything, obviously, and there's no pre-drilling for these. So I think I am going to use the pickup rings on this one, but I have the option not to. Just make sure you take a look at the rings so that you know what's what. It's pretty easy to tell from this that that's our neck and that's our bridge. And there was nothing pre-drilled for the bridge either, but we have this tunematic style bridge so I'm gonna have to drill for all of these posts if I look at this I just hope that uh, that this chunk of wood that they've propped slash glued in there will be sufficient for that I yeah I'm going to have to I think keep the <laughs> the tailpiece relatively close to the bridge portion because I don't think that chunk of wood that they've put in there um, goes very far back. And of course I can't mount these studs to nothing. And it looks like there's gonna be just enough room in this piece of wood for the stud to go in without coming through the bottom. So that's good, that, uh, that will be helpful. I don't know how I'm gonna get the wiring in here. <laughs> how, how am I gonna do that? What's, how do you, 
And where does the switch go? The switch must go here. Why do I have five other holes? With... Is one of those the output jack? One of these must be the output jack. Okay. I'm gonna have to look at the diagram for this thing, because clearly... I switch, I assume. Um, uh, output jack? Output jack? Dial... You would think these would be the dials, but clearly that's not the output jack. And it would be silly if that were the output jack. Um, stay tuned, I'll let you know. All right, so clearly we're gonna have a couple of interesting quirks to deal with on this one, but really cool, really cool design, very light. I'm very, uh, yeah, I'm excited to give this a try. This is gonna be quite interesting. Um, but hey, moment of truth here, right? Like we've got a couple quirks, so be it. Uh, a couple things that, you know, we might be able to work with that I, that I might prefer were a different way, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but if this doesn't work, well, you know. So, ooh, she's snug, <laughs> which is good. Yeah, I'm glad, glad that it's a nice, tight fit, and that it is. Looks like that goes in there quite well. Okay, that's what I needed to know. It's gonna work just fine. It's nice and snug, good fit. A uh, couple tiny little gaps here that we can, we can certainly deal with when gluing. <sighs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't really, there's nothing really to indicate how far in this is like, I could definitely slide this further in, although I couldn't probably couldn't pull it much further out. Um, so we'll just have to address that when we position our bridge. There's nothing wrong with that. That'll work just fine. Yep. That looks cool. I'm going to do a quick measurement on this to make sure that it's going to land me with a bridge right in this area. And as far as lateral and everything, uh, I'll take a quick look at that too. Presumably the center line on the fretboard matches up with the center line on the book match. Otherwise, I'm going to have to either find a way to adjust the neck angle or put the bridge not in the middle, which would look pretty damn silly given the fact that this is a book match top. But anyway, I think we're probably good on that. I'm going to go ahead and double check that stuff. I'll let you know uh, when we come back in absolutely zero time on your end, but probably about a minute and a half for me. Be right back. Okay, check is complete. All looks good. All's well. Uh, I'm a little nervous about positioning that tailpiece, but I don't think it's going to be a big problem. I'm just going to put it nice and close to the bridge and that'll be that. So yeah, should be good. Pretty excited about this one. Again, you can check it out in the link in the description uh, through TomTop there. Have a look, see what you think. And we're going to go ahead and build this thing pretty soon. So don't forget to stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already to check that out. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Hope you liked it. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.